them in like a different setting. Um, this is like the other half of my room, I guess. And it's really blank right now because I just got my walls painted. So um, I took down that picture that was right there because I'm getting an actual bed with like a frame and stuff. And then that's my new like vanity thing. I'll do them. I mean, makeup collection is probably going to be up next week. So yay. And then my room tour is going to be up within the next two weeks. So yeah, it's all coming together finally and I'm really excited so yeah I was in this like mood the other day if you follow me on Twitter where I just all I wanted to do was online shop like I don't know why because I didn't like feel like going shopping I just wanted to online shop so I did and then I got a little carried away and then a bunch of you tweeted me back and I like, do a haul so that is what I'm doing so so first I got some stuff from Sephora because um, strawberry electric on YouTube here I'll link her in the down bar if you're not subscribed to her um, and a rose on YouTube they both went to Sephora so I got a bunch of stuff that they like recommended and stuff and so the first one was um sorry for the noise um this their real mascara and I've seen this in like Ulta and like Sephora and everything and I just never really looked at it but when um strawberry electric was talking about it I realized that there's like a ball on the top you know those mascaras that are just like the chain ball and like that that's how it is on the top and I was like that is the coolest thing ever so I had to get that and I usually never buy high-end mascaras I always buy drugstores because usually they're like the same quality and so this is like one of my first high-end mascaras and I actually really 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 like it I've already used it and then another thing I never use or buy is eyelash curlers I have really like naturally long high eyelashes I guess and so I just never used an eyelash curler and I never needed to but then when I saw this one um, it was actually like really cool because it's basically like a new invention of an eyelash curler and basically it doesn't have the little things that connect to the eyelash curler on the end. They're just blank, blank. They're just like not there so that it doesn't like squeeze the end eyelashes together if you have like a really big eye. And so I thought that was really cool and Urban Decay is usually really expensive and when I saw that this was $20 I was expecting it to be a lot more because I just feel like they overprice a lot of their product and I didn't, I don't know, I don't buy eyelash curlers so I don't know if that's expensive for one but to me it didn't seem that expensive so I got that and then something else I've wanted for a while is the Bobbi Brown eye cream because that's also been raved about and I wanted a new eye cream because it's like school and my eyes are getting really dark circles so it looks like this I love every single thing about Bobbi Brown's packaging if I could have like one product of everything would be Bobbi Brown. So yeah, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm really excited because it's really creamy and it's supposed to um, be really, really good for dark circles and stuff. And then another thing, this is basically all like recommended stuff, um, is a Buxin gloss because I've heard a lot of good stuff about this. And um, I got it in the color Debbie. And it's a, it's a corally pink color and it's really pretty. And it's coming up a little more orange on camera, but... um. Yeah, the packaging is really big. It's by Bare Essentials, and when you put it on, it like has the most weirdest sensation, and like the weirdest smell, and just everything. Because I think it's supposed to plump your lips. Yeah, it's supposed to. So that's why it feels really weird on your lips. But I really like it actually, and it's just a very natural color for me. And then a uh, not natural color for me is the super saturated, saturated Urban Decay High Gloss Lip Color, and this thing is unreal. I'm going back and getting more. Because I thought this was just going to be like one of the Tarte lip pencils or like the NARS lip pencils. But no. This is like eyeliner for your lips. Like it is the most. It's this color. I got this color because I thought it would be fun. You know like pink glow. Like I don't know when I'm going to wear this. Unless it's like for YouTube. It's like literally hot pink like a Sharpie or something. Like it is awesome. I'm definitely going to wear it. I just don't know when. So yeah. I lo 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 love that. And then um, the last thing I got. Where is it? Oh wait. I got two more things. I like three. Okay, um, so I got the Saint Tropez bronzing lotion. Now, Saint Tropez has bronzing stuff and gradual tan stuff. Gradual tan stuff is basically equivalent to Jurgens. And if you like Jurgens, that's good, but why would you buy the Saint Tropez one? Because it's more expensive. So just stick with Jurgens. But if you like the bronzing mousse that I've raved about, this is basically the same thing, but in a lotion. And it doesn't give you the gradual tan, it gives you like the brown paint look, you know what I mean? Like it, like you literally like put the tan on and stuff. And I am very, very pale right now. It doesn't look like it because my lighting is making me look like orange almost. But um, I'm very pale and it's very disgusting and like I'm peeling and it's horrible. And so I bought this for my face because when my face is pale, I feel like I look like I'm sick and like just gross. So 
I got this to try and I actually really like it. It's not as like um, like sticky as the mousse usually is and I don't know if this is for your face but I use it for my face and it doesn't break me out so I really like this. And then I got a NARS um, lip liqueur and it's basically just a lip pod and I just liked how it looked pretty much actually and it's really like glossy and I love their lip glosses so I thought why not get it in pod form and it was a really pretty color it's in the color baby doll and isn't it just cute so yeah I got that and then I got um I used strawberry electrics um promo code that she had from that one site and it's like retailmenot.com and it's where you get all the coupon codes and it's this little sample of the Clarins um bronzing for your face and I got that because I wanted to try it because Clarence is a really good skincare line that's been around for a very long time and my mom uses it and stuff so I like trust that and so since there's a sample I wanted to get it to see if I would like it to actually purchase it and yeah so that's all the makeup stuff I got I really should not be putting all this stuff on my bed because my bedspread is white but um yeah so then I was searching for shoes I was searching because the shoes right now are killing me. Like, I love the shoes right now, like the fall shoes between the boots and the new wedges. And I'm just going crazy because I want to buy them all, even though, like, I go to Catholic school and I'm a teenager. I do not go out that often. I don't wear heels that often. So it's like, why would I spend money on really nice shoes when I'm barely ever going to wear them? So I was on a, like, search for really cute booties. And I found them and I'm satisfied. So the first ones I got, if you don't know what Agachi is, it's a store... Um, online and in stores and it's basically like some of the stuff is really really cute and some of the stuff is like eh. but it's cheap it's like basically knockoffs of higher-end clothes is basically literally what it is and what they have for shoes is literally anything like Steve Madden or anything they will have it a knockoff and I'm gonna say if it's like suede or like something like that the material is not gonna be good it's gonna be like really like crappy material but if it's like leather and stuff it's actually good shoes and so I got these, I'm sorry, I don't know the prices, but um, it was not that expensive, I don't think. And I got these black booties, and I actually really wanted um, suede ones. And nowhere besides, like, $600 shoes has suede black booties. They're all leather, and I just thought they looked so much more, like, fashionable and suede. And just, like, I really loved the suede ones, but I could not find them anywhere. And I really want to wear these for homecoming, because they go with my dress. No, I'm not going to show you my dress, I'll show you... When I put my homecoming video up, I'm going to make a homecoming video like I did for prom, but more like in-depth. So I really want to wear these for homecoming. So I got these from Agachi, and they were cheap. And then these I found from Baker's, because I was looking on Baker's. It's um, another, like, cheaper shoe store. I mean, it's not, like, $10 for shoes, but it's, like, good prices for shoes. And um, so I found these, and these just screamed, like, oh, my, how cute are these? Like, I love these kind of shoes. I think they look so cute, and, like, just not a... I just, I just don't know. They're just like the best shoes in the world. And so yeah, these were from Baker's and they were also not that expensive. And these aren't leather. They're like soft. Maybe they are leather. They're just like softer. And they kind of like look like, I don't know what the material is called, whatever. Uh, but yeah, these are from Baker's and they're fabulous. And I will be doing a fashion video soon with all the new clothes and stuff that I got. And then another shirt that I got really quick that I wanted to mention is my Style Mint shirt. And I'm, if you don't know what Style Mint is, but you know what Jewel Mint is, it's like the same thing. It's where you subscribe and it's like $30 a month and you take a style quiz and they figure out what they think your style is and they tell you what shirts in this case for style mint that would suit you and how to accessorize them and like everything. It's a really, really cool concept. Like kudos to them for thinking of it. I wish I thought of it. But um, it's really, really cool and um, basically you get a shirt every month. You get to pick it. There's like four choices and um, it's, the shirts were created by Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, that's what I was trying to think of, I couldn't think of the last thing I wanted to say. But yeah, they were created by Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, which made me really want them, and this is the one I got, it's like, the wide, um, neck, and then it just has like a really cute cut, see how it like flares out? I really like it, and I got it in a 2 instead of a 0, because I kind of wanted it to be baggier, and I'm excited for this, because if you guys know my style, it's really plain and simple, and so, this service is like, heaven for me. Um... Then I went shopping at Agachi. So if you saw um, my, if you're following me on Twitter, if you don't, what the heck. But if you do, you saw that I tweeted about Agachi and how they have an online boutique. And it's brand new because it says new at the top. Maybe it's not brand new, whatever. And it's basically, Agachi, like I said, is really cheap clothes. Not cheap bad, like cheap prices. And um, so I think it's like a higher end clothing line or something like that. I don't really know the concept of it. But I fell in love and I went nuts. And so I'm just going to show you everything I got. This is the most boring thing, but I thought it was cool. So I don't know why I got this color. I'm kind of regretting it now. But it's basically a tube top, tube top and it's taupe or beige. 
and it goes, it's a low back, but it has this lace in the back, and I thought that was so, so, so cool, because it'll cover up your bra, but, like, you'll still get to see all of your back. How sick and sexy, guys, is that? Um, and then I got this dress, and I thought this looked really cool on the model that was wearing it, so this is what I got, but I didn't know it had this. It has, like, these little, like, beads on it that I really don't like, because I think they look cheap, but I really like the dress, so I don't care. So it goes like that, and then the back is, like... I don't know if you can see it. It goes like, like it goes really far down and it's really cut out and stuff. And it, it's really cute. And um, then I got this dress because I thought this was fun. And I really liked the colors. So it goes like that and it looks like a skirt and it's belted. And then it like buttons up and I thought it was really feminine. Feminine and pretty. And then I got this one because I love the color. It's like a corally peach color. Sorry, the lighting's really bad. Um, it's not orange. It's like corally pink and it's a one shoulder and it's wrinkled because it was in a bag. But this is the one sleeve like that and then it just falls and it's really flowy and it's gorgeous and I'm definitely going to style that maybe, in with, maybe even with those shoes from Baker's. And then I got this because a bunch of the, um, for the boutique they have like um, different photos for like how to like style the clothes so that's why I bought a lot of stuff because it looks really good on the models so it's basically like a droop neck like right here and then it's just a tight um, dress and then the back is like open so that's all open back and I love open back I think it's like so cute and then you never know when you're gonna need sequin, sequin shorts so of course I had to get sequin shorts you know like Halloween's coming up winter's coming up why would I wear shorts in the winter? I don't know. Sequins just remind me of winter. I, I just wanted sequin shorts, okay? Can you just, like, drop it already? So, yeah, sequin shorts. And then I got this dress, which reminded me of the Pretty Little Liars um, thing dress, you know? Or is it a shirt? I don't know. But it goes up around the neck, and usually I would never buy something that goes up around my neck. But since it had, like, the slits in it, I thought it was really cute. And it's just tight and black, and it goes on the back, too. So I love that. I'm so excited to wear that. And then last thing I got is this really cute um, blazer, and it's really lightweight, and um, it's just, um, it looks orange, but it's not. It's like um, light, 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 like caramel, I guess, and it's really cute how it like hangs. You can't really see it, but um, I really like blazers, as you know, you know me, and if you don't. Um, but yeah, so that is my haul. I... Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. You go shopping way too much. You're a shopaholic. Seriously, you're a brat. Shut up.